Hi, it's Monday, August 15th, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. Welcome. Don't have a lot to talk about today. There is one thing I'd like you to look up. U.S. Day of Rage is the last of the political actions that I am even minutely involved with. And what that is, is a demonstration that is supposed to be taking place on September 17th in New York City. And based on what I've seen through Twitter, they are very much a democratic organization. They are also, like myself, supporters of Anonymous. Uh, again, Google it, U.S. A Day of Rage. There's also supposed to be an, uh, an operation going on in the West Coast, looks like Los Angeles, as well as San Francisco. I'm not exactly sure of that. And there are another, uh, I believe one in Florida is now forming. So if uh, it's happening locally to you, uh, if you can, get involved. This is Cliff Potts. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now. It's Tuesday, August 16th, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. Got a quick question for you today. I have noticed something over the last few days. I got a question, and the question is very simple. Why is Rick Perry all of a sudden becoming the darling of the Internet? Texas governors decided to put his hat in the ring to run for president of the United States, something which I doubt very much if he's going to be elected to, but I'm kind of curious about why is it that he's becoming the darling of this medium? Simple question to follow that is... Is Rick Perry replacing Ron Paul, now that Ron Paul has been mainstreamed, is Rick Perry replacing Ron Paul as the attractive candidate for the libertarian fringe? Just thought I'd ask you. If anybody has a clue, well, let me know. Thank you very much for your time. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. It's 1029 at night on Tuesday, the 16th of August. This is Cliff Potts again. Real quick one. What started is a GOP retaliation against the senators who skipped out to try and stall Walker's anti-union tactics have now officially backfired on them. When the dust was settled today, the Democrats held all of their seats and the Republicans lost two. The Republicans still hold the majority by one vote in the Wisconsin Senate. But that one vote could swing either way, and it's not held by a Walker fan. Congratulations, Wisconsin. You did one hell of a job. Proud of you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. It's Wednesday, the 17th of August, 2011. It's Cliff Potts. Welcome. Got a quick one for you couple things I want to remind you of. The uh, Texas miracle, we won't get into the man that's claiming it. Come up here to Chicago, which still has a higher unemployment rate than Texas, and it took me three months to find a decent job. So, if there's a Texas miracle, I haven't seen it. Now, the other thing has to do with uh, what's going on in London. According to the race mixer, they have made a promise to funnel $33 million into the affected neighborhoods in London as an economic stimulus, if nothing else. But at the same time they're doing this, uh, out of the Prime Minister's mouth, he's talking about the parental irresponsibility and the moral failures of the people that engage in the rioting. Problem is, when you have even a minority that counts in those kind of numbers, and they're out operating in wolf packs, you've got a social issue on your hands, not an individual moral issue. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for your time. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. It's Thursday, August 18th, 2011, Cliff Potts. Got a couple of post-it notes from lunch today. We're getting reports of the scientific community that a comet known as, in the best way I can do this, this is Elnin, E-L-E-N-I-N, will not kill us. Is this more of the millennium fever stuff going on? I don't know. Okay. All I know is that they said in the report... 
that because there is so much going around the web about you know 2012 December 21st 2012 that they had to make a point of telling everybody that that comet is not going to hit the earth so there you go NASA has chimed in on that speaking of NASA uh, there's another report out there that the next step for NASA is Mars let's see what happens with that and also that uh, in November, I believe it is, that a private enterprise, Space Corporation, is going to be lifting materials up to the International Space Station. It's a private U.S. firm. You might want to look into that as well. Now, on the uh, heels of that, we have a little political report. Uh, they're recycling politicians. The GOP is so low on candidates that Two Bottle Tommy, Tommy Thompson of Wisconsin, is considering running for the U.S. Senate. Well, maybe after, you know, he was the Secretary of Transportation during the Bush era, this may be a step or four. I don't know. Let's see, anything else going on that I need to tell you about? Not really. The job's still going well, and those are the two news of the day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye for now. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to cut this one loose for now. As always, may your God go with you. I will talk to you again later. Have yourself a good one. Bye-bye for now.